It's Easter Saturday today and I thought I would tell a bit of the Easter story and I'm going to use a special book to do this. It's a book which I borrowed uh, from a local school and it has no pages. Odd. Let's have a look, shall we? Here it is. This is the, the book and it begins with a city. City on a hill and this hill is Jerusalem. Well, the city is on top anyway, it's Jerusalem. And we begin on this first page here which is Palm Sunday, when Jesus came riding into town, this is his last Sunday, on a donkey. Now all the people thought this meant he was saying he's come to be king, because God promised a long time ago that his chosen king, the one who would come and rescue them, would come riding on a donkey, just like this. And so they grabbed their palm branches and they waved them, a bit like we might make with a flag, and they put their cloaks on the road for him to ride on, a bit like we might put out a red carpet for a queen. And they shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, which means God save us, God save us. They believed Jesus had come to save them, to rescue them. Well, then a few days passed. Now I'm now going to switch to the next day. Well, a few days, the next page I meant to say. And this is morning Thursday, as we call it now. And Jesus is celebrating a special meal. Here he is with his disciples. And this meal's the Passover. And they had a long hot day out and about. And I don't know about you, but when it's a hot day, my feet, whew, you wouldn't want to go near them. They get dirty and sweaty. And it was the same for them. And so someone was supposed to be there to clean their feet, especially Jesus being the most important person in the room. And when Jesus looked around, he realized no one had organised someone to do this. And so what did he do? Did he tell them, you must go and get someone, come and wash my feet? No. He took a towel, put it round his waist, took a bowl of water, and he went around all his friends, the disciples, and washed their feet. What a strange thing for someone who was the most important person to do. After they'd done that, they sat down and they had their meal together. They had some bread and they drank some wine. And this is a special meal that the Jews have celebrated for years and years and years. Remember how God rescued them from slavery in Egypt. And on that journey, they ate special bread like this. Well, as they ate their bread and drank their wine, Jesus did something rather odd. He said, whenever you eat this bread, remember this is my body, which is broken for you. Strange, I wonder what that means. And this is my blood, he said, when he drank the wine that's poured out for you. Remember that? I wonder what Jesus is talking about. Now, to find out, we're going to have to turn the page. But if I turn it that way, we're back where we begun. Oh, and if I can do something else with this, let's have a look, shall we? If I do this, there we go. We find a secret page on the inside. And this is on Friday, because after they had their meal on the Thursday and they left the room, Jesus was arrested because not everyone liked what Jesus was doing and saying he was arrested. And then some people who really didn't like him put him to death. They put him on a cross and he died on a cross. Then after that, they took his body and they put it in a tomb and roll a great big stone over it. What a really sad and terrible day that was. Of course, that was Good Friday. We, we celebrated that the Friday just gone, didn't we? And I don't know if you, any, any of you had hot cross buns. You know, those lovely buns with a cross on top. Well, that's why we have hot cross buns to remember that sad day of Good Friday. But my book still hasn't finished. There's one more page. Shall we turn to the last page? Because after Good Friday came Easter Sunday. Some of the women on Easter Sunday went down to the tomb. They found that the stone had been rolled away. And when they looked inside the tomb, Jesus wasn't in there. In fact, Jesus was outside waiting for them. Because he had come to life again. And that's the good news of Easter. Jesus came back to life. So let's think back through the story. 
started, didn't it? Jesus riding to town on his donkey. And they thought he was the king come to rescue them. Hosanna, they cried, God save us. Then Jesus said, if you want to be important, you should look after other people. You should be a servant, put them first. And they shared their meal and said, this is my body broken for you and my blood shed for you. What did that mean? Then on Good Friday, Jesus' body was broken and his blood was shed. And he died and was put in the tomb. But then, fantastic news. He came back to life again on Easter Sunday. And Christians believe that through his dying and coming back to life, Jesus took on himself everything that causes suffering and pain and death, all the things we do that are wrong, all the illnesses, everything that's wrong in this world. And he overcame it and brings us new life. We might live after we're dead. And that is how Jesus saved us. That's how Jesus shows that he is God's chosen king. What a fantastic book. What a fantastic story. Happy Easter.